Okay, so in math 120, you definitely did graphs of the trigonometric functions. I will say this one looks pretty tough to graph, and, but you just machine to do that. So I'm going to say probably, you know, a table of values would be appropriate. So a visual is okay if you can do a visual, but right now, table of values. So if someone says what table of values you're going to use, I want to get close to the number zero from both the right side and left side. Let's go through that. We should be getting better at this. You know, from the right, I'm going to say 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001. Then I evaluate the function. This is the function I'm evaluating, by the way, and I'm getting these numbers over here. Now, looking at this, you know, I, I certainly know what the x is doing. The x is getting closer to 0 from the right. And it looks like the y values, you know, it's kind of hard to predict, but I'm looking at, you know, 8.4, 1.5, 9.983, 9 and then I get 10. And I can keep doing this, but I'm going to say, you know, roughly it looks like it's hitting 10. Then I go from the other side of 0. I pick this sequence of numbers. Again, these are the x numbers. They're getting closer to zero from the left. And then I compute these numbers over here. And remarkably, as expected, uh, by the way, this is um, looking at it, I'm expecting to see an even function, so it's going to evaluate both the left and right of zero to be identical if I'm using symmetric points like 0.1 and minus 0.1. And I'm going to say, looking at it, I'm going to claim that, yeah, it looks like it's going towards 10, all right? You notice I'm still using an approximate symbol over there. At some point, we'll be able to show you what these are exactly. But right now, what are you doing? A visual approach, right? They have a graph, and then you're also using tables. They're primitive, though. They're very primitive. We'll go to more uh, exacting procedures later. Thank you.